Mrs. Hamretta, the real church lady. Guess what, y'all? I got profiled by one of them male Karens in Walmart. I'm going down the aisle, buying my groceries, and this guy comes up to me and he says, you will look so much better and so much beautiful without that mask on. With that mask on, I can't see your beautiful face and your great smile. I say, do you know me? Have you ever seen me? You don't know what I look like under this mask. I could have buck teeth, rotten teeth, a cleft palate. I could have a beard and a mustache. I say, so you mind your own business, but I can't see your smile. I say, look, let me tell you something. I'd rather have this mask on, which you think covers up my beautiful smile, than to be laying somewhere in the funeral home with a smile on my face. So mind your own business and get in your lane. The nerve of some people. Another incident that I had not too long ago. Before COVID, there used to be this man that stood outside of Walmart, played his guitar, and, and, you know, and sang. And the man had a wonderful voice. And so I befriend him. His name was Joe. And sometimes I walk up to Walmart and he'd be out there and me and him were singing duets. We sang Tammy Terrell and Peaches and Herb and, and Marvin Gaye. I mean, we really had a good time together. Well, I ain't seen Joe in about two years. And I say, Joe, where you been? And he said, oh, I had COVID for about three months. I say, well, tell me about it. He said, oh, I was so sick. I was sick as a dog. He said, I, had, I didn't have no taste. I didn't have no appetite. I had fever and I had hallucinations and I had all of the things going on with my body with chills and fever. I said, oh my goodness, you were really sick. He said, and the worst part was that I was gasping for breath. I almost thought I was going to die. I said, oh, that's not good. I said, well, if you die, at least you'll meet Jesus. He said, Jesus. He said, ain't no God. I said, oh, okay, all right, okay. So anyway, he said, you want to sing a, a couple, ain't no God. You want to sing a couple of duets together now? I say, well, uh, yeah, okay, let's sing. So I get ready to, I say, what are we going to sing? He said, you going to take off your mask? I said, no, I ain't taking off my mask. After you done told me what you just had and went through, how I know you got a clean bill of health. And he goes, well, it's going to be okay. I can't see your smile. I said, how long you been knowing me? I said, baby, use your imagination. You know what my smile looked like. And he said, well, it sounds better. I said, okay, look, we ain't going to do this. Now listen, Joe is of the mindset, <laughs> y'all listen to this, that the coronavirus is fake. And that he didn't really have what they say he had, but they had to say he had it so that the hospital and the doctors can get kickbacks. So I'm not even going to take that any further than that. I'm going to leave that right there. We need to allow people to be who they are. Even if we don't like it. Because it is not ours to like. You can't expect people to live the way you want them to live. The only time you get an opportunity to do that is when you got them little children. And then when they grow up, they start doing what they want to do, not what you want them to do. Or are you getting mad at people because they're not wearing a mask? Or talking about people because they are wearing a mask? Getting mad at people because they're vaccinated or they're not vaccinated? Mind your own business. So I'm telling you to be about your father's business. That's the only business you should be about. Well, somebody got to say it. So it might as well be me. You know I love y'all. Bye.